Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So this time I'm going to be the unit police because I still see a lot of confusion and the units that we are using uh, are still being used uh, in the wrong way. I wanted to make this video to make it clear for everybody what exactly it means and what the differences are. So we're basically using three different units. You got your uh, kilowatts, your kilowatt hour, and what hour per kilometer or what hour per mile. So if we look at uh, kilowatt hours or watt hours, um, then you're looking at the consumption or the storage of energy, right? So it's like the liters of fuel or the gallons of fuel that you have in your uh, ICE car. Um, and you either consume it or you replenish it when you fuel up, right? The watt hour per kilometer, that is, or the watt hour per mile also, uh, that can therefore be seen as the equivalent of the liters per hundred uh, kilometers or the miles per gallon. Although the latter one is basically reversing the whole thing uh, because then you're talking about uh, a range per consumption unit, uh, whereas the liters per kilometer, you have the consumption per range unit. Uh, it's a bit different, but yeah. Um, kilowatts, in essence, that is indicating the power that you're drawing. So, for example, you can have a 6 kilowatt heater in your uh, sauna at home, uh, or you can have a 60 watt light bulb, right? So that's the power that it draws at any given time. Right. Now, the kilo in kilowatt, that means times a thousand, uh, for those that might not have figured that out yet. Uh, so for example, if you look at your electric furnace at home, that might say 2000 watts, that's equivalent to 2 kilowatts, right? So that's an easy one. Uh, but that also puts things in perspective, because if you're looking at the supercharger, so regularly I get uh, 118 kilowatts that I'm drawing from the supercharger, that's 118,000 watts that I'm drawing from the supercharger at that point, right? It's not over a given period, it's at that point. Because you will see as you supercharge that the uh, kilowatts will go up and down uh, depending on the state of your battery, of course. Uh, yeah, so that's 180,000 watts. Uh, that means that it's an equivalent of about uh, 1,966 60 watt light bulbs. Or, as we now go with the 5 watt LEDs, that's 23,600 of those. So yeah, that's a lot of power that is coming from uh, from the supercharger. Now if you assume that you can draw that power consistently, right? Then if you charge for half an hour, that means that you will charge 118 kilowatts for half an hour and you will gain uh, 59 kilowatt hour in the battery capacity. So when we're talking about capacity, we're talking about kilowatt hour, right? Now, there's some trickiness to doing those calculations because it's not a one-on-one -on -one because you always get losses because of the laws of physics, uh, heat loss and, and such, uh, and uh, loss from conversion from AC to DC if you're doing AC charging. But we don't take that into account in these calculations. So yeah, I um, hope it is I'm clarifying that, but just to make sure, I've got a pop quiz for you guys. So first question. When I charge my car at home on a wall charger, I am charging at 16.5. That is kilowatts. Right? That's the power that I'm drawing. It's 16.5 kilowatts. Second question. My lifetime average consumption is 221. Watt hour per kilometer or watt hour per mile uh, if you're in the US, of course. So we're talking about consumption, then it's uh, like the equivalent of liters per 100 kilometer. So average consumption, watt hour per kilometer. Third question When I'm coming home from my commute, I have consumed 12 kilowatt hours, right? So we have consumed. Uh, a, a big chunk of energy, so that is kilowatt hours. 
At full launch mode, the P100D draws about 570 from the battery. It draws power from the battery, so that would be kilowatts. So it's the equivalent of 776 horsepower. Next question. When using regen braking on a long downhill section, you can get a negative reading on the consumption app in the car. That is watt hour per kilometer or watt hour per mile. On the app in the car, you can see the average consumption. Uh, so that is going to be watt hour per kilometer or watt hour per mile. The battery of a Model S 85D has approximately 77 of usable energy when it's new. Again, we are talking about capacity, so that's kilowatt hours. Last question. Going down a mountain road generates regen at up to 60. We're talking about power again, so that is again 60 kilowatts. So I hope you did get a lot of these questions right. Uh, let me know how you scored. And remember, if you like my videos, please subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell icon so you don't miss out on any new videos that I bring out. And for now, thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Bye bye.